have a special guest uh, waiting for long, but uh, I will now invite Dr. Per Erne Wikstrom, Counselor of Innovation and Science from the Embassy of Sweden. A uh, huge round of applause for him. Let's hear from him. What are the areas where India and Sweden can uh, collaborate more in terms of bringing transformation for governance? Over to you, sir. Hello, everyone. Um, good morning. I think it's still a good morning. Um, and thank you for uh, inviting me and as a representative for Sweden here. Um, for me, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here, and I think uh, everything I've heard here this morning has been uh, very exciting to listen to. I've been here for one year now. Uh, I live in Basant Vihar. Uh, I work, work as the Councillor for Science and Innovation uh, for Sweden in India. Uh, Sweden has got seven councillors like this uh, sent out to the uh, regions or areas in the world that we, where we think it's happening. Uh, and I would say um, I'm at the I'm at the totally the right place at the moment. I think um, I heard earlier someone said that 1987 it started the digitalization. Uh, was it? I don't know. If, yeah, maybe he left that that person. Um, and actually, 1987 was the first uh, year when I visited India for the first time as a student. I didn't have a lot of money. So uh, I traveled around here and I had a really good time. And I've been thinking about that uh, year now uh, when I was traveling. I spent one month here uh, that, you know, when you were you needed to contact your family, right? And you wrote these letters and you went to the post office and you sent it. And uh, when you came back, returned to Sweden, they said that it had taken them two months before they get any uh, sign of life from us. So, you know, things has happened uh, during these years. Now you can just pick up your phone and, and call them, basically, uh, or use WhatsApp and show, show them that you're alive. So a lot of things has happened, of course. Uh, uh, India is, uh, to me personally, I would think, uh, say also, it's uh, uh, being here now for one year again, um, I've also been here before for, as a researcher and as a, as a conference participant. Um, I love the, I love India. I love your country, and uh, I, I, uh, I would like to thank you uh, uh, all here uh, for for uh, being such a uh, um, nice people. Uh, you're very open. Um, uh, you got a similar sense of humor as the Swedes have, so uh, it's easy to uh, to interact. Uh, you also have uh, great food. Uh, I think uh, the the food of New Delhi is maybe the best food I've ever had, uh, and also the nature. Of course, uh, I'm a person that loves to hike, and uh, uh, I've done that. Uh, just started, as I said, only one year here, and I, I hope to see much more of of India. I, I've gotten to see tigers, uh, which is, uh, you know, memory of, for life to have done that. Um, so I also want to thank you all for, for uh, all the meetings that I've had, all the definitely action that we are engaged in uh, when it comes to collaborating uh, between Sweden and India in the field of innovation uh, in general. I really liked what you said here, um, that you're here now to talk with uh, government. Uh, in Sweden, I think that's one of the one of the key recipes uh, in Sweden for uh, being a strong uh, country when it comes to innovation, and that is um, the idea of having both uh, public fin funded uh, agencies or organizations and private companies uh, and uh, research, um, you know, universities. Uh, they collaborate a lot. So the, the approach here that you are taking, I think it's, uh, it's crucial for, for uh, uh, the, the development. So um, I think at the moment uh, uh, I, was, uh, I really wanted to come here um, and, and do this um, and, and enter this position as a counselor for science and innovation. And the reason of, for that is that um, I used to work uh, uh, quite a lot with China. Uh, 15 years ago, something like that. The reason I did that was because then it happened in China. 
today, I would say that it's not happening in China. It's not happening in the US. It's not happening in, in uh, uh, Europe. It's happening in India. And um, this is the time to be here, uh, which is also, of course, uh, I don't, sometimes when I meet people here in India, they don't understand that I, I, would, I wouldn't say that you have taken a leapfrog. You're, you're leapfrogging at the moment. That's, that's my impression. It's happening right at this very moment. And say 10, 15 years in the future, I think personally that you know, the heroes that people will talk about are some of you guys. They will talk about some of you. It depends on who and which ones of you uh, that will take part in this and, and move everything forward. Uh, it will also be some of these uh, companies uh, that you don't really know about them uh, on a national, international level yet, but you will definitely hear about them. So give it 10 years and some of you guys will be in the, in the history books. That's what I sincerely think and believe. So where, why am I here? And uh, that's because maybe it's because Sweden is one of the uh, world's strongest countries when it comes to innovation. So I will not focus uh, a lot on, on digitalization because I, did, I would say that the digital component today is part of everything. Uh, it, it, it's everywhere. Uh, but in Sweden we have a, a, a way of working that has proven to be very successful. And I mentioned this uh, trip, it's called triple helix. You may have heard about that, or multiple helix when you have public, uh, private uh, research communities interacting and working together. But we have a lot of um, innovations. This small country, I just realized a couple of weeks ago that Vasant Vihar, where I'm living, is almost the same kind of population that you have in the whole of Sweden, right? So Sweden is a really, really small country, but we have, we have um, invented the zipper, you know, you can check that the zipper is up. Uh, we have the pacemaker, uh, Tetra Pak, you might know all these uh, uh, cartoon uh, boxes where you have uh, milk or uh, you know juice and stuff like that. Uh, safety matches, uh, uh, safety belts. I realize that uh, some people don't use it in the back of the car here, though. But um, so safety belts is, is, is also a Swedish invention. Um, and we also have uh, in this tiny, tiny country. Uh, uh, we have some really strong companies. We have uh, Volvo, Scania, we have Ericsson, uh, AstraZeneca, IKEA, uh, HMM, and uh, then more recently we have companies as Truecaller, you might have heard of all these, uh, uh, Skype, Spotify, all these are Swedish companies. So there is something that we have in this tiny little country that is, is working. And I would say that one of the key elements is the, exactly what you talked about. Meet people from different areas. And we talk about, we use a concept that uh, it sounds like something like we need to innovate the way we innovate. And that is uh, also something that we're trying to do all the time. Trying to uh, try new ways, uh, combine ideas in different, in new ways all the time. And, uh, and I can see, this is also why I think that some of the heroes, future heroes are here. I can see that, I can hear it, that uh, there is a sense of urgency and eagerness in India at the moment. And um, that I, th I think will be extremely important for, for the future. And uh, so when it comes to the Sweden-India collaboration, I will just tell you briefly about that. So, uh, on uh, research and innovation, um, the Swedish IT uh, sector counts for about 60% of all new jobs in Sweden. So, I mean, the digital component, I would rather talk about the digital component, is in so many different uh, aspects of society at the moment. I also thought about, actually, I also thought about um, comparing um, 1987 and the letter I wrote and uh, back to Sweden to tell them that I was still alive. Now you can just use, you can use your phone and do everything. You can do the payments and uh, uh, call people and uh, you know, 
and, and now it's on the wrist. You have it here now. So it's it's such a, a big difference if, if you compare it to, to um, back in 1987. Um, we have a long tradition of collaborating with India, uh, 120 years. And um, so uh, strong relationships, strong bonds between Swedish companies, the ones that I mentioned uh, to you earlier, and also the new ones, of course. And um, we also have, and, and I think this is important and good for you to know, that we have uh, an agreement, a strategic innovation partnership agreement signed 2018 by Prime Minister Modi and uh, then the Prime Minister Levin in Sweden. And that one uh, points towards uh, certain uh, areas of collaboration between our countries. So uh, you can always uh, come to me or to uh, someone that represents Sweden and look it up, see what what's it, it, it's uh, about, and, and you can ask if, you, if we're interested in collaborating. And then we would have this partnership as a foundation from where we can start and begin our discussion. One of the reasons I really wanted to meet with you here uh, is that I saw that there were, we have a lot of representatives from different states in India, and I think this is important for you to, to know about. Um, so the, the areas at the moment where we are uh, focusing a lot in Sweden, um, where we have uh, big strengths, uh, I would say in 5G, 6G, uh, Internet of Things, of course, uh, data centers, uh, cloud, edge computing, and uh, also actually a lot about uh, connecting different actors, companies, governments with each other. I am now, I, I just re returned from Sweden uh, last week to uh, wonderful Vasant Vihar and uh, um, then I, I had brought uh, um, Sapna Putti that works from, for um, Office of Principal Scientific Advisor and what we are doing is that we're connecting, trying to connect, building a motorway between Sweden and India when it comes to innovation infrastructure. So they are establishing uh, different uh, organizational clusters geographically in India. Uh, at, at the moment, I think there are seven. And what we're trying to do is that we're looking at Sweden as being number eight. So it will be easy for uh, you to collaborate with Swedish companies. And uh, in the end of this uh, month, we will have a delegation coming in from Sweden interested in smart cities uh, to meet with different stakeholders in these clusters. So please have a look at the uh, uh, Office of PSA's um, um, system, and the, the innovation system. It's called Mantan, uh, if you haven't heard about that, but it's just uh, uh, re released this, this system, and, and, and we think it's extremely important um, uh, to collaborate on a infrastructural, um, uh, from an infrastructural uh, point of view. Um, at the moment, we have several uh, SMEs, uh, startups um, um, in India, collaborating with Indian stakeholders. I will not go into that uh, at this moment, but um, I can just tell you that uh, uh, going through the um, collaboration that we have with Office of Principal Scientific Advisor, looking at what we're doing, then you will also find possibilities to connect with these uh, startups. And you can also contact us at the uh, uh, the Swedish Embassy and me, uh, of course, and, and I will uh, help you with, with this. So, um, finally, um, I would just like to um, uh, push forward the idea of trying to connect our innovation highways. That's the main objective of what I'm doing at the moment. So, it's a, it's, it, it may sound uh, general, but it's very action-oriented. Um, we have already a lot of joint efforts, uh, and we, co we have already combined our innovation systems. Um, and, um, well, for, uh, with these words, I would like to thank you all for inviting me and Sweden to this uh, uh, very interesting seminar. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Per Ern Wickstrom. Uh, uh, indeed, there are a lot of areas where yeah, true. Uh, perhaps uh, Vasan Vihar has got more population than Sweden. Uh, that also a challenge, that also an opportunity for a country like India, that where we use our population uh, as an opportunity rather than seeing as a challenge. And again, technology and innovation can play a, a big role. And uh, you said that uh, 
uh, there are a lot of things happening in Sweden. You talked about Spotify, Tuker, all those things. But there are people who love uh, some of the Swedish football players as well. Zlatan is one of them. So thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Per Ernie Wickstrom. Uh,